Well, welcome back. Something a little different today. Tractors in the garage. Uh, Kubota L 2250. Intermittent start problem, really, all the time. No crank. Not a, not a crank start, and won't start, just doesn't crank. Uh, so, I kind of did a couple things first. Uh, on the uh, right side of it up front, ground cable bolts to the frame. I found that these, these are very touchy. They have to have really good ground connections. Uh, unbolted that. Checked it, cleaned it. Found out the terminal on the negative battery side was cracked. Where it, where it goes onto the terminal. Replaced that cable. Found the same thing on the positive side. That terminal was cracked. Replaced that terminal. Uh, still won't crank. And I'll, I'll show you what I found. Uh, it's a pretty simple circuit, really. From the ignition switch to the safety uh, switch on the clutch, neutral switch. And uh, then basically to the starter to, to, to crank over now. You could do uh, voltage drop testing from the switch down to the uh, starter switch on the uh, solenoid at the starter, but you've got to pull it apart to get at the back of that switch. I didn't really want to do that. Pretty common issue here with the uh, neutral safety switch sometimes. So uh, there's one panel on here. I'll show you. I pulled that off, um, and I'll show you how I figured out really what was causing this problem and why, why it wouldn't crank. So I've got the panel off of this side, it bolts down to the front of this, this uh, platform step, and you can, here you can see, I'll just stick my light right here, right here, neutral safety switch, um, which is, uh, push the clutch in, see if I can do it, and it pushes up on that, like that. So it's not the fact that it's not reaching or not pushing up, it's definitely doing that. Uh, is it worn? I don't think so. I don't think it is. I don't even know if it's adjustable, I'd have to look at it, but... Um, <clears throat> you got two wires going to it, one from each side. All right. I am in neutral. Anyway, push the clutch down, engage that switch. Nothing. I don't get anything, basically. So what I did, and I'm just trying to, you know, figure out the quickest way to figure out what's going on is I made a little jumper. Can't see what you're saying here, so. I just made this little jumper. I'm going to jump that switch. You've got to be careful doing this to make sure it's in neutral. It will try to start in gear if this is the problem. Um, so I'm just going to plug this into one side here. Take the switch out. Plug my other side here. Find it. There it is. Plug it in. So I basically have jumped the switch. The switch is right here. It's out, out of the circuit right now. I am in neutral. Make sure you're in neutral, because now you're not going to use the switch. Uh, there you go. So basically, with the jumper, no problem. It starts cranks. Put the jumper back in here. I put the switch back in. Take the jumper out. Get it back up. Try it. Switch back in. I'm going to have to push the pedal down to just to, to nothing. Switch is bad. Real common issue. So if I pull the switch, I'm going to replace it. All right, let's see. Maybe 21 or 22. Oh, man, maybe. It's not 21. Maybe 22? Yeah, 22. I believe. Yep. Come on. seem to be. I might pull this apart just to look at it to see internally what it is, but I'm blocking it. I got my head right in your way. Not much to this really. There's a hole in the end of the rubber boot here. Like, you probably can't see this because my head's probably right in your way, which I'm trying to stay out of your way, but it's kind of hard. I gotta see what I'm doing. There it goes. There it goes. Bless well, just a little bit of pain. It's got a little bit of a 
uh, in the recess in there for that boot to sit in so you can see the metal post sticking out down the bottom. Put that back. Uh, I, should, I should tighten this up now. Tighten it up all the way. Not much to it. Okay. Let's plug it back in. Other side. All right. Let me uh, get my stuff out of the way here. Let's give it a shot with the switch in the, in, in the circuit now. Hopefully. Hopefully it'll work. There you go. So the switch was bad. It's not adjustable, not from what I can tell. Just worn out. Probably just burned up inside contacts. Uh, I might pull it apart, but that's it. Now I just put this panel back on, and now I have an actual tractor that has the uh, neutral safety switch working. Well, that's it for this Kubota L2250 clutch neutral safety switch. Bad. Uh, real simple fix. Just put a jumper in there, bypass it, make sure it's in neutral when you do that. Because if it's in gear, it's going to try to start and it's going to it's going to move on you. Um, if that is the problem, there's a ton of different ways you can go at this. I already knew the starter was good. I've been having this problem for a while and just messing with it. And I didn't feel like you know you voltage drop test this to make sure. I didn't feel like tearing that panel off to get it behind this uh, ignition switch. Uh, the easiest one was just to go right at this, jump it. See if it fixed it, and it did. Put the new one in, works fine. So, if you have this problem with your uh, Kubota, I hope it helps you out. If you like the video, subscribe below. Thanks for watching.